Carro. Hello my Sagittarian friends, it's Guiding Halo here. This is going to be your What Spirit Wants You to Know through the rest of January. I apologize for getting this reading out late. I've been incredibly busy. Alright, let's see what's going on for you guys. This will be the card that I lift these cards up with. So I figured I will just make it part of the reading. Let's see what extra energy or extra knowledge the Divine would like you to keep in mind. Kindness elves, so people that are there to do kindness for you, to bring kindness in for you because you yourself have been kind. Let's get started. Look at the energy correlating there with these two cards, They're almost the exact same colors. How beautiful is that? Manifesting is the creative process of aligning with the energy of the universe to co-create an experience that elevates my spirit and the spirit of the world. So someone here is involved in a process of not just elevating yourself but elevating the world around you by the energy that you utilize in this world now it could be creative processes could be anything you feel passionately creative about that you want to take to the world and perhaps there's been something that you've not been feeling uh, incredible has been incredibly kind to you or something you tried to do or many somethings you've tried to do passionate things that have not come to fruition it's entirely possible but that's because there's something that's supposed to be done to raise the energy of the entire world now it could be that in raising the energy of the entire the spirit of the entire world You've needed to go through these not working out because other people are going through that as well. And if we have one person on the planet who goes through the things not working out, then no one actually understands how the other person feels. And perhaps in your things not working out, uh, you actually have a kindness and a kindredship going on with other people because they've been through the same things not working out that you've been through so you can actually very much empathize and teach them how to create because seems to me and if you've not done that yet how to create something they want to oh it's something you're headed into oh yes it is why do I say that well we got the walking away from the emotional turbulence card, the confusion. This is the Eight of Cups that comes after the Seven of Cups, which is all about many opportunities or confusion about which opportunity to take. And in doing so, it's like, I'm just going to walk away from them all and let Divine take care of it. I am so done with this. I am so done with trying to bring something to fruition that I have no control over, you feel, or someone might feel. I'm just walking away, man. I'm walking away. All these passionate things, this ignition, ignition starting, all this stuff... I'm I'm walking away it could be from an Aries Leo Sagittarius you're walking away from because they've blocked the process to you getting to your nine of cups which is coming in love and your ten of cups now walking away are you kidding me walking away because you know you want your ten of cups and that's what you're headed for we have a cancer new moon uh it's a full moon full moon solar eclipse coming on the 10th 10 10 10th and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio underneath, and the Hangman card. So someone definitely could be dealing with Piscean energy. Between the 10th and the 12th of this month is going to be key for you guys. Key for you guys. Now, sacrificing something, walking away from something, sacrificing is self-sacrificial. It's like sacrificing your time, your effort, your energy to gain clarity from the divine in Hangman's state. In hangman mode clarity about how it is you're going to bring about this ten of cups energy and create it for yourself okay now in doing so it may take some things that you might not necessarily want to do like king of swords energy okay it could be brilliant impartial professional diplomatic speak your mind with confidence seek out professional advice balance mental and emotional considerations seeking out people who are very much like you and in doing so, it brings out incredibly happy outcome. It's like you, it's almost like you thought you'd found your thing, but something happened 
and it became incredibly, imperatively clear. It's like King of Swords energy, taking that sword and cutting out the BS, walking away and standing in your truth, speaking your mind with confidence. You know, you might even be seeking a lawyer in some way, shape or form or someone who deals with uh, speaking the truth on your behalf, maybe, or this could be your energy stepping into this King of Swords energy and cutting out all the bullshit so that you can bring forward what you want. And my friends, it's coming. It's coming. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Kindness elves. You are a very kind person. You are loving. You are giving. You are loyal to a fault. And a lot of times, perhaps in the past, you felt being passionate and giving and loving was going to get you where you wanted to be, but it didn't. And so you walked away from a lot of things. You walked away towards Ten of Cups and about how to create that for yourself. And you realize that the true kindness lies when you speak your mind with confidence and in, in, uh, I can't even think of the word I'm going to say. Regardless, it's about being kind to yourself and bringing that kindness to your inner child, to the child that is within, showing yourself love and showing others love by doing that for you. You show others love when you speak your mind with confidence in order to protect your heart and to protect the love that's within you. But why do you feel you need to do that? Well, let's talk about this because it seems to me that someone is a star seed here you've never felt like you belonged you've never felt like things have gone right for you in this world you've never felt like like uh, you've been at home my Sagittarian friends you've never felt that way let's read this card okay let's read what this has to say to you all star seed the loving, benevolent being in this card has come to you today to share his words of encouragement. There are many who feel as though they don't belong here on earth. It can be a tough journey with many experiences and obstacles to overcome. You no longer have to question whether you're supposed to be here or not or whether you belong. You most absolutely belong here. Your soul has chosen this incarnation for many reasons and the universe has brought you here for a reason too. No, do not doubt the wisdom of it. You are very sensitive soul connected to the subtle energies that weave and ebb throughout the entire cosmos. You may find that you are acutely affected by the moods or thoughts of others as well. Although at times it may not feel like it, this is a gift. It is a special part of your makeup and blueprint. Your keen ability to sense and intuit these energies is an aspect to the gift you are here to bring to the planet. You could be an any type of healer or teacher, but this largely depends on whether you choose to hide away from the world or to engage it. At times it may seem easier to just hide away, but that is not what you have to come here to do. You carry a high frequency and through your everyday contact with others, you are sharing it. As you allow yourself to open up to the world around you, you'll find yourself opening to the higher information and energies as well. Usually, star seeds are guided and directed by beings of a cosmic galactic nature. This can sometimes mean that it takes more effort and patience when communicating with their guides. The star seed card asks that you continuously work on developing your connection with your guides as there is information awaiting you. So leaving this this belief that you have not that you are not home trusting that you absolutely are will be the end to an energetic cycle for yourself of always feeling left out of always feeling like things never work for you of always feeling like you know hmm. I can't communicate, I can't connect, I can't this, I can't that. I'd like you to change that word from I can't to I cannot. Or how about this? Not I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Change that word from I can't to I can't not. Okay? I can't change. I can't not change. I can't move away from this energy. I can't not move away from this energy. Okay? Not I can't, but I can't not. All right. And I'm moving away from this energy of feeling like you don't belong, feeling like you're not here to do anything specific. You absolutely are when you move away from that energy. 
here, look at that. You end up in a wish granted all of a sudden because you start to realize everything all along has been you being here for purpose, understanding that your energies, your healing, the, the energy you have to bring healing to people, whether it's through words, whether it's through emotions, whether it's through through healthcare, whatever it is through, is truly you coming into alignment with you in spirit. It's your you, your higher self, starseed nature, galactic uh, guides coming into concert with this you that is here, your inner child, your soul, your divine purpose, truly. And it, it's about having kindness for yourself, I know you're kind to others, so it's about having kindness to yourself, for yourself, and for what you want to create. It could be that a new someone, a kindred spirit, is coming into your life to bring that to you in the form of the Two of Cups. Two people that feel very much the same about each other, sharing equal and opposite reaction in moments of emotion and kindness and caring kindness and caring. There are people watching over you and you know it. Look at there though, here in the 3D, there are two very childlike kindred spirit energies coming into concert together. Absolutely beautiful. And this, my friends, will be an absolute wish granted for you. Absolutely beautiful. And is it not about damn time? Is it not about damn time, my Sagittarian friends? Look at that. The sun. The sun card, the happiest card in the deck, Archangel Uriel, happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. You are here for divine purpose. Look at the, the energy in these two cards. You are here for divine purpose to shine your light and love. To shine your light and love, you have chosen to incarnate here for divine purpose. It's about remembering who you are, absolutely, but it's about remembering why you came here, not just who you are. It's about wanting a lot of people in this energy might feel like they just want to go home because they've not had this kindred spirit energy here with them. Perhaps it's about coming into this emotional energy with the people that are your tribe, people that feel absolutely the same as you do. And in doing so, you, you all come together and perhaps there's something here that is created by you speaking your truth about how you feel in this lifetime, in this paradigm. Manifesting is the creative process of aligning with the energy of the universe to co-create an experience. Who are we co-creating with here now? We're co-creating with a kindred spirit coming your way, which is an absolute wish granted, my friends. A brand new start. Beautiful, the sun card could be in uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Uh, it's about speaking your mind with confidence. And in doing this, in meeting this person, this tribe, this whichever, it's about coming into doing just that. Absolutely beautiful. To co create an experience that elevates my spirit and the spirit of the world. That's why I say it could be a tribe situation. F coming into your tribe. All of you joining together to raise the vibration and the spirit of the whole world. You are out for massive, massive change and beauty coming into your life, my Sagittarian friends. How beautiful is this energy? How beautiful is this energy? And I'm telling you, you all a bunch of kind of cells. Yep. And you have these, this beautiful energy coming over here to bring beauty to yourself, to bring beauty to your soul. To bring beauty to everything that you are supposed to bring beauty because you're a healer you're a lover you're a, a soul creator with the divine here to bring about soul creation together and bring bring about the creation of souls being in unison being in unison together the divine truly is bringing you all a kindred spirit i hope this message resonates for you and i'll be talking to you again soon blessings keep an eye out keep an eye out i'm telling you between the 10th and the, what did I say, 12th, 10th and 12th, I would even go as far as to say the 19th of January about the people that come into your life and the people that vamoose, I'm telling you, because there is a kindred spirit about to befall you that is really going to help your soul. Blessings to you and have a great month.